Hello everyone, today I'm just going to have a look at this crab apple. You've had this a few years now. It flowers fantastic. In spring it gets covered in white flowers and then it again with fruit gets covered in fruit. I get a lot of fruit from it as well. Yeah. Now I'm just going to prune it back a bit. It's just starting to send out some long shoots and I also want to take off some of the stubs and things that I left on last year and pruning so big there for instance is it stuff sticking up there. Now the only thing I had with problem with this one, this tree is my own fault again. I think this was the original front. But it, was, it grows on against the wall, and I keep turning it every now and again. And as you can see by the side view, I haven't forgot to turn it as much as I should have. So the front was actually up against the wall for a lot of the season, and this is the back. Now, this could also be the front, it's kind of one of these trees you could have. Either way is the front, I think. Um, I think maybe the, the trunk looks a bit better this size. Which, I don't know. It's just one of these trees you can switch around, and I keep meaning to switch it more often, and like everything else, I forget. And then, and then with it looking like this, so I'm going to prune it back. Quite hard because it's starting to starting to swell a lot in places. Yeah, I to get that French. Yeah. Small pruners, I'm not sure where I put them. If you've gone missing. But we'll crack on with these. So yeah, like I said, it flowers fantastic. It's it's completely covered in flowers in the spring. Hopefully, it'll keep keep doing that for me. Mm. I may decide to give it more of a pruning. I don't know. I'll see. And it needs because it is starting to grow out a bit. Rather than like this branch, for instance, it's getting very long. So I think I'll take that off there. I'll take a off back there. Hmm. Straight bit here, so I'll take that off. Just a bit there. there. No. Need to. I'm going to take off this whole back chunk here. Very 
Sick. Just reduce the height down a little bit first. Now, I'm not too particularly worried about fruit or flowers on the tree. I'm more wanting to get a little bit more into shape, a bit more ramification on it. So, Back another bit. Yeah. I've got quite a stray branch growing up through the middle here. This one has been pruned a few times, but it just keeps. We'll just take it back here, see if we can get some blow up woods. There we can take off. Seems to be a lot of length over this side. Off all together there. Okay, so if this is the front, the side looks better now because this is the way it's been growing this season, or most of the season. Whereas this side it tends to lean towards slightly, keep the spread on the, the base is a bit better. <coughs> How does it need this? Oh, it's up here. Try to reduce the height back again. Mm. Now I think. I think I'll take this one back to here and I'm going to take this whole top off, I think. Push that down as fast as it needs. I'm making this here, so I'll take that off. Just dump there, do we? Back a bit. Okay, that might do for now. Just clean off the roots a little bit, the trunk a little bit. Get rid of some of the moss off it. Okay, put some wounds in it now on all the cuts. Clean them up. We're still having torrential rain here every day, flooding. So there's no fear of my trees getting. Not getting enough water, 
No fear of them getting too much water at the moment. Town is still being flooded and uh, non stop. One big one is here. And you think one day I'll have to do some drastic chops on this tree, but now I kind of like it as is. Not brave enough yet to go chopping it right back to start new branches again. So I'll just leave it as is for now. Maybe one day. Okay, so call that video done again if you like the video please subscribe and tell your friends the word as you know we like to have as many followers as we can so yep yeah, we'll call that one done we'll see you in the next